Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today, we're going to be talking about Super Mario Maker 2. Now, I'm very, very excited for Mario Maker 2. It looks amazing, it looks fantastic. I am ready. Um, I can't wait to truly enjoy Mario Maker. Now, you might be saying, truly enjoy? What do you mean? Didn't you play the first one? I've seen you play the first one on stream before. What are you talking about? What I really mean is that... This Direct that they just had was very un-Nintendo. Normally, they do Directs and they talk about gameplay, the modes within the game, which they did here. They did do that here. But this time, what they did was they really, really went into detail about online, I thought. I thought they really went into detail about online. And I think it's great now that I can truly enjoy a Mario Maker game because I have a streaming platform. I stream on YouTube. I know you guys are going to be making levels and doing stuff and you can play my levels so I'm truly going to be able to enjoy the game and that's where I think the fun is with this thing. You know I said before that you know this game's going to be good online like I said for Mario Tennis which yes it was the couple of times I've streamed it before but this is truly going to be amazing now. The reason I know this is going to be amazing because the Wii U obviously didn't sell very well and Splatoon did really well on the Wii U and you know it was good, and I knew that a sequel on the Switch would also be very, very good and do very, very well. Um, not only in SNF on the channel, but also just in general. And it did. And I think the same is going to be said here. I mean, it's Mario is going to sell well anyway. Uh, even things uh, like Mario Tennis sell very, very well on Switch. Um, so yeah, I think Mario Maker 2 will sell well. Um, there's a bunch of modes in it, I will admit. Again, a lot of it is reused content, um, which is a video that I need to make. Uh, in the future, where I'm, I'm talking about a lot of Nintendo games having a lot of reused content, which is true, there's a lot of reused content here, but if we're being honest, wasn't Mario Maker 1 just remade or reused content from all the Mario games, you know? It, there is some differences, it is a sequel, um, I think it's a sequel in the same way, I think people, you know, when Splatoon 2 launched, um, everybody turned around and said, uh, it's Splatoon 1.5, I feel like we're going to get a similar thing here, where it's a similar sort of lobby uh, for online, similar sort of assets, even though it's not really the game's fault because of the games before it. Uh, we are getting 3D World and it does say there's going to be more content. Uh, well, we can assume there's going to be more content because there's like extra game modes and then there's like some more spaces, so I'm, that pretty much, I think, confirms an Odyssey. I don't know, very, very excited for that. Um, and it, it does look good, it does look good, they're adding a lot of new features. Um, it, it's just going to be a good game, I feel. My only real concern, I say a concern, it's not going to be that bad, but, you know, when we first get the game, there's going to be people playing it, and it's not going to be as bad as the Wii U. For example, you know when the Wii U came out, lots of people would buy the game, die-hard Nintendo fans would buy the game. Because the Switch is so popular, people are going to get it on launch, most likely I'll get it on launch, and, you know, maybe there's, there's not going to be that issue of what content's actually in the game, is what I'm saying. Um, you know, the Wii U, there might have been... A lot of people getting it, but there might not be tons of content online available. I'm talking about creator-based, um, public levels where the people are made. But I think now on Switch, I don't even think we'll have the issue of that, to be honest. Because I think there's so many people got a Switch and so many people invested into this game. This um, trailer was actually on trending. Um, well, I mean, maybe in the UK. It was definitely on trending in the UK. So a lot of people are interested in this game. And I am too. I am too. Um, I, I kind of wish... That they do do a sim a, a thing similar to our Splatoon, how they update it regularly. But I hope they don't do the same mistake they did with Mario Tennis. Now Mario Tennis, if you don't know, um, launched with a little bit of content, a little bit, not a great deal, and um, eventually over the months they 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 added to it. And you know I think Mario Tennis Aces is worth the price now, looking at it. However, at launch I don't think it was. I think Nintendo made the mistake there of not putting enough content in there from the get-go and I think that sort of put a bad taste in people's mouths. So I'm saying, you know, the amount of content they're showing off now is great. I love the idea of story mode. <gasps> story mode, it looks so good. You have to build up Peach's Castle again. I don't know how long that is. That could just be Nintendo saying, oh, there's a story mode, similar to how they did in tennis, and not last very long. That being said, though, I don't feel like we need a massive long story mode. Maybe something 10, 15 hours. 25 hours at the max. I don't think any more than 25 hours. Probably maybe the length of maybe Mario and Rabbids or maybe the length of 
Splatoon 1 single player or Octo Expansion. That sort of length, I'd be happy with. Uh, Any more, I feel like it's sort of just not gaining much. Um, but yeah, on the terms of Nintendo adding more content, I could see them adding some a new mode, maybe an update 2.0 um, with more stuff. But I really, if they are going to do that, I like it when they give us free updates. But I really don't hope that they don't go the route of adding nothing and then slowly giving it, because that sort of that will ruin the community essentially. Because um, there's not enough things to make levels with, people won't make levels, people will you know drop out of the game, and therefore the community isn't going to grow. However, if they make a thing where there's a lot of content and then they slowly you know give us more it's going to one keep people interested and two it's going to have people interested from the get-go so there's more levels which will also keep people interested so they've got to sort of do this right and i feel like from what they've shown so far um is is pretty good i feel from what they've shown is probably enough um i know that we definitely didn't have a mario tennis direct and if mario tennis maybe launched some of the features that they have now and maybe a little bit more and then did it in a direct, I feel like the community for that game wouldn't have died as quick either. I don't know. I really don't know. But I feel like for right now, it's okay. I hope they add more. Um, I'm just sort of hope that they don't give us nothing on launch and slowly build it up. I mean, it's great that they do, they do want to build it up, but we need it from launch so the community doesn't die, so it doesn't, so it doesn't give a taste, a bad taste to people's mouths. Um, similar to how they did it with Smash, honestly. I feel like they did Smash right. Um, oh, you've seen some story mode there. That does look great, um, but Smash Bros, and they're slowly, you know, giving us more content with Smash Bros. Y you know, we launched with a bunch of characters, a bunch of stages, and then we recently just got Joker, and it, it, it's been great, you know. It's been going well with Smash, maybe we'll see some more updates. Um, yeah, I feel like if they added more content, that's great, uh, and what they've shown now is pretty good um, as well, so, I don't know. I don't know about Mario Maker 2, it does look very very good, it does look full of content, but I do have some concerns. Um, I have some concerns, they're pretty minor, I'm happy with what we see already, I just hope that there's enough content there on launch, that's my only concern. Apart from that, I feel like it looks fantastic, it just looks great, honestly, it really does, um, there's a bunch of content there, and yeah, I don't know, I'm just curious to see what the game will look like a year from now and what will be in it and how long they support it for and mainly what are people going to make uh, I feel like we had like Mission Impossible uh, levels last time, we had Zelda levels um, the only thing I wasn't thinking that I just, I've just i been thinking about is what about the amiibo costumes, are we going to get those again or are they not working now we don't really know, there's still some unanswered questions um, so maybe we'll have to find those at our launch uh, Mario Maker 2 is about 5 weeks away, we're about a month and a week away so very very exciting uh, let me know all your thoughts on Mario Maker 2, are you excited for it? Uh, are you going to get it on launch? I'll be getting it on launch, I'll be streaming it. Uh, Mario Maker 2 will be a large part of Summer Streams 2 this year, uh, as you already know, and I can't wait to stream it. So, yeah, uh, let me know all your thoughts on Mario Maker 2. Let me know, are you going to get the game? I will get the game, and uh, let me know um, what your opinion is on the game. I'm, I'm obviously very, very excited for it. Are you excited for it? Is there anything that you want to see added? Let me know. If you want to see anything added, let me know what they do. Because I, I, I was thinking... If they're going to add anything, what could they realistically add? And maybe an Odyssey? An Odyssey mode? Maybe? I don't know. An Odyssey -like, Odyssey like theme? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, maybe a Super Mario Land theme? That wouldn't be that hard to do. I don't know. Maybe they could add um, a Zelda backdrop if you want to use Zelda characters, if you tap a Zelda amiibo. Uh, maybe they could add some maybe paid DLC, I know the game isn't even out yet, but maybe some paid DLC um, that maybe has a harder story mode level. I don't know. I really don't know about this one. I feel like the sky is sort of the limit with this sort of thing with Mario Maker, and I'm not really sure where they could go with it or what they could do, but Nintendo is Nintendo and they probably know best. I don't know um, what they could do. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Your Nintendo, let's just say your Nintendo, you can decide what you add to Mario Maker 2, or maybe you don't you, Maybe you don't want to add anything, maybe nothing else is coming to the game. What do you do with Mario Maker 2? Um, would you change anything, would you add anything? Let me know what your thoughts on Mario Maker 2, guys, and I will see you in another video. Oh, another video will be coming out on Tuesday, and another one on Wednesday. I'm doing two videos a week, um, so I'm trying out this new sort of uh, format, that being a stream on Monday, uh, a video on Tuesday and Wednesday, Fortnite on Thursdays, Friday stream, Saturday stream, and nothing on Sunday. I'll take a day off on Sunday. Um, so yeah, let me know 
all of your thoughts on Mario Maker 2, and I will see you in another video.